If I knew you, and you knew me. If both of us could clearly see. And with an inner sight divine. The meaning of your heart and mine. I'm sure that we would differ less. And clasp our hands in friendliness. Our thoughts would pleasantly agree. If I knew you, and you knew me. What might it take to create the habits through which folks with dementia and their families can rely on compassionate care, access to nature, a sense in which people can thrive rather than perhaps survive? I don't really think that people understand that the person that has dementia is actually a person, a person with love, a person who is desperate to communicate with you but at times just cannot find the words. The good times are very difficult to remember. Um, I was once asked do you remember them and I said well no not really while well, the bad times are happening and although <sighs> life is in a way one way even better for me it's not in another because I don't have a husband anymore. The key understanding is this point that challenging behaviour says as much about the quality of support a person is receiving as it does about the person. The real decider of quality is the person receiving services. It's not commissioners, it's no one else. It's the person with disability who receives services. Are they happy? Are they viewed as a whole human? Without that conversation, there will be just a battle for control. And challenging behaviour will be viewed not as exotic communication that needs to be understood and responded to, but as something to be stamped on and stopped. That is the abuse. That is institutionalisation. Just because a person has a learning difficulty, it does not give the right of the public to put us to one side. Nature's Corridors, and John in particular, is fantastic at focusing on what Robert can do, what he can offer. So instead of being disabled, Robert has become enabled and his life is richer and fuller and fun because of that. And it's brought joy into our lives. Once you've got your own home, it shouldn't finish there. So actually, I think that's what's happened for lots of people with learning difficulties. They've got a nice home and support, but actually the next bit is, well, how do we help people have really meaningful relationships in their community? It's about accepting people's choices. It's their choice to be in a relationship. Yeah. And who are we to say there's no relationship? Game? I use a bliss board to communicate. I've been using this for years and it's a good way to find things out. I stare at it when I need to use it. You hold it out for me where I can see it. Turn each page slowly. When you get to the page I need, I'll look at you. Then you point to each column slowly in turn and I will look at you again when you get to the right square. 
It will contain a word and a symbol. Say the word to me and ask questions relating to it, and I will look at you and smile when it's right. You'll soon get the hang of it. I say yes like this, and no like this. When you get to know me well, these movements may be very small, so please watch carefully. I couldn't let that one out. And I said to her, if I don't get out of here, I'll jump out of a bloody train. He, he had no idea how to fight this. He couldn't possibly do it on his own. He just felt lonely. It's not where I want to be. I'm depressed. I know I'm OK, but here I'm on a dementia ward and I'm very frightened. Look, there's a lot of problems here. Let's first address, well, first of all, you want a cigarette and you don't want to be frightened. So let's address those and we will look at why you're here. They got it all, you know, sorted out. So they got, they pulled me out of the depths of despair. They picked me up and killed them. There's still hope because of what they've done. Without them, I'll be dead. Sure. If we don't know what makes people smile or stops them from being sad or makes them feel safe or stops them from being scared, are we really caring for them? And if we do know the answers to those questions, then we are part of the greatest story of all. We're part of someone's love story. And you know what I know, the thing about getting to know someone, it might just change your life. But I can guarantee you one thing, it will change the life of the person you ask. Many of us, us, many of us, will need this care. We must build a future in which we welcome that care and it makes us whole. It doesn't, it doesn't feed our sense of fear and vulnerability and insecurity because it feels uncaring. We must, we must be made to feel loved, accepted, whole, perfect just the way we are in that moment. That's healing. You were making it so um, a tickle. A big kiss. Ah, oh. smack a Should we give him a tickle? Should we give him a tickle? Now I know you and you know me. Both of us can clearly see with an inner sight divine. the meaning of your heart and mine. We now know we differ less and clasp our hands in friendliness. Our thoughts do pleasantly agree. Now I know you and you know me.